You said it would be you, it's the greatest of all time. And everybody here could have everything that they'd ever dream. But now the crowd is getting restless, thinking that you lie. Circus back home. Seems your big top ten ain't as large as you said that it would be. And all the things you said that we'd see inside are gone. No strong man, no dancing bears, nobody swinging on trapeze. Just one bearded lady down here to tell us nothing's wrong. And the ring master is gone. It's just the clown down here alone. Oh, Mr. Barnum, won't you? Circus back home. But you probably knows to a fault. He just laugh like it don't matter at all. Oh, Mr. Barnum, won't you please take your circus back
get one never ending kiss. And I hope that deep inside of you there's a sweet eternal song. Hope the words are pretty And that you'll always sing along Oh, little baby girl Sweet little baby girl Be strong in this great big world oh, Hope your friends are many Your laughter's always loud To help you when you're lonely Pick you up if you fall down And may your eyes always Shine bright, love. Learn to see the light. Take the time to listen. Decide yourself what's wrong or right. Oh, little baby girl. Another politician sitting far away Doesn't matter how many got gunned down today As long as you keep your re-election bills paid You're just a whore to the pimp that's called the NRA They tell you how to vote and they tell you all the lies And we watch this common sense just slowly dies But you got blood on your hands now but you don't care you don't do a thing but offer up your thoughts and prayers Thoughts and prayers Thoughts and prayers Don't give a damn about your thoughts and prayers It's just wasted words now and nobody cares Why don't you do your job down there Keep your thoughts and prayers Mama crying cause a baby won't come home You tell her, father that you're sorry that his son is gone And you just sit and do nothing in that big white dome And hope we all forget to care but You could have done something and we all wish that you would To prove to the world you had one tiny ounce of good But you'll just blame somebody else for all this despair And not do a thing but offer up your thoughts and prayers Thoughts and prayers Thoughts and prayers Don't give a damn about your thoughts and prayers It's just spin wind flying round in the air Why don't you do your job up there Keep your thoughts and prayers Someday when time finally 
it takes its toll. Your maker comes to call his final roll. I hope he closes up the gates and sends you straight to hell. For the truth that you knew, but God paid not to tell. And you can beg and you can cry, Lord, don't send me down there. You'll say the devil made me do it. I'm so sorry, I swear. And I hope that God just laughs and tells you, I don't care. Sends you into the fire, which is this down to pray. Down to pray. Down to pray. Don't give a damn about you. Thoughts and prayers.
where you were Some dreams keep on getting better Gotta keep believing if you want to know for sure This is the part sometimes like when they usually have a band up here <laughs> There's certain shows, you know, when you're not having sit down and be quiet like there's a point where this would be the part where you know everybody would like sing along and shit and that's a cool part and the reason that the reason that that's a part is because this song completely out of my control became like this uh, what they call a hit song it was it was a number one song at country radio and i don't say any of that as like as making fun that was it was one of the biggest miracles that i've ever witnessed and, and it was a life-changing thing for me like a let me and my family have a house to live in and my kids have like college savings. We have insurance, like it's not a joke. That was some really powerful shit that happened. But you know, you feel good about that. And then this number one song, all of a sudden, it became a, I got nominated for CMA, Country Music Association, Song of the Year. Thank you so much, I lost, I lost. I but don't worry because uh, about six months later, I got nominated for an Academy of Country Music Award <laughs> Song of the Year for the country music song. That's, yeah, I lost, I lost that one, too. I did. I lost both of those. And then, um, thank you so much. I don't know if that comes with a trophy or not, but I do appreciate it. Um, but so then the, the, the big one, though, was getting nominated for a Grammy for Country Music Song of the Year. Yeah, you can... I, I, I lost Woo! that one too. But you know, it was cool because getting nominated for a Grammy, that was like some shit that I used to watch on TV when I was a kid, you know? And I really never thought that that was something that I'd even be mentioned in. And, and so um, when we got nominated, I, you know, my wife, she got this fancy new dress, and I, I got the clothes that I'm wearing right now, and I put a <laughs> button up shirt on, and we went to the Grammys in Los Angeles, California. We flew out there. I bought tickets for some friends and family because that's truly one of those moments you go, this may never happen again. I don't want to let this pass us by. And um, my boys at the time, they said, um, they were excited for me. And they said, uh, well, you know, uh, their favorite musician is uh, is Dave Grohl. And that's, uh, that's humbling. Uh, I mean, he's cool. But they said, uh, that was the biggest thing they were excited about when they knew that going to the Grammys, and you think you'll get to meet Dave Grohl? And I, I thought, probably. I mean, I'm nominated for a Grammy, right? There, there gotta be just like a party for all of us, and we'll be there, and I'll meet Dave Grohl. And I'll get my picture made with him, and I'm gonna send it back to my kids, because they'll think I'm cool. And so we we got there, and, and I noticed that the awards started real early, and that's because the Country Music Awards portion of it for Song of the Year is in what they call the pre-televised portion of the show. <laughs> and it, for those of you that don't know, that means you can only see it on the internet. <laughs> and it's real early in the afternoon and it takes place not even in the same building. It's across the street from the Grammys in a small, sort of dusty old theater. And there's not really even security. They're just like homeless people rolling around. <laughs> and then there's people that show up and they, they just hand out awards and there's empty seats and people just roam up and accept awards and sometimes somebody's not there and somebody else just comes up and accepts the awards and it was weird but they called out the name for the winner of the country music song of the year and it was not us <laughs> and somebody that I didn't know wandered up there and got the award and my parents were watching on the internet at home and they said that's okay and I said I know it's okay and, and so then we walked across the red carpet back to the Staples Center where the real Grammy Awards were because I thought, you know, this can all end well if I can just uh, get my picture with Dave Grohl. And so we, we took our tickets and they walked us right in by the front row of the stage and I looked and three rows back, there was Dave Grohl with his wife. I don't know if it's his wife. I just assumed it's his wife because he seems like a good guy. So um, we walked right past him four or five rows and then they took us a little further back and that security guy passed us off to another security guy who walked us up to the balcony level who then um, took us to another security guy then walked us up to a second balcony level who took us to a higher balcony level and a different security guy that walked us all the way to the very top of the Staples Center and I couldn't really even see Dave Grohl anymore but um 
I shit you not, I sat three rows from the roof of the Staples Center. And when I went to get in my seat, there was a lady that was mad at me because she said I wasn't supposed to be there. And I kind of thought she was right. I didn't think I should be up there either. And, and we compared our tickets and I was right. And she moved over sort of begrudgingly. And she said, I don't even know why you're here. And I said, well, actually, I was nominated for Country Music Song of the Year. And she said, yeah, right. And I said, well, okay, well, what are you doing here? And she said, I wanted to see the Grammys. And I said, oh, okay. Are you a musician? And she said, no. Are you? And I said, yeah, I was nominated. <laughs> You're not listening to me at all, are you? And I said, well, that's okay. What do you do? And she said, I am a dental hygienist. <laughs> and it was a good moral lesson for the music business. You can work for 20 years, and you can put all your heart and soul into things. And you can have the biggest success of your entire career. And you can still end up 200 rows back at the Grammy Awards, sitting right next to a dental hygienist. <laughs> That's a true story. There's a sun and a where I come from. The youngins call me country, the Yankees call me blue. Got my
Tom Petty. <laughs>